Hello everybody and welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make an inventory adjustment. So this is the kind of thing that you will need to do, maybe if you're doing a stock take, but what I really wanted to show you here is something that will come up, especially if it is a new system or there have been some entries, inventory entries made into your system in the past that were incorrect. And now you have a sale, you are making a sale to a customer of an inventory item and it is not, the system is not letting you raise the invoice because there is no inventory on hand. So you need to get, the, you know you have the stock there, you need to get the invoice out so you can make the sale and get paid. So you just need to push it through and get it done on the system for now. And I'm going to show you how you can do that so that any kind of inventory issues in your system won't hold you back from actually making the sale. So first thing we're going to do is have a look at our inventory and we'll go to business products and services. We'll scroll down and we'll look at t-shirt large black. So we'll click on there. We can see here we have five quantity on hand. What I'm going to do now is open up a new tab. I'm going to go right click duplicate. And now we're going to attempt to make a sale. So we're going to go business, invoices, new invoice. And let's say that we just went out the back and had a look at the stock room at this item here, t-shirt large black, and we saw that we have 10 items on hand, even though the system is saying there is only five. At the same time, we are making a sale for those 10 items. So let's see what happens here. We'll just put in a test customer name there. That's not important. And if you're wondering why this is looking a bit different to what you may be used to, this is the new template, uh, the visual template for invoices in Zero. You can switch back to classic invoicing, but they are going to switch that off, I believe at the end of November. I could be wrong, but it's around that time. So this will be the new interface you're using when raising an invoice which is more or less the same, but it just looks a little bit different. So the item we're selling here, T-shirt large black, the code for that is TSL black. So what I'm going to do is type that into the item field, TSL black, there it is. And we made a sale for 10 items, everything we have on hand that we just visually confirmed out the back in the storeroom. So that's all fine. 10 items at $40 each makes $400 and that is tax inclusive in this scenario. So we're going to just approve that and we have to put in a due date. So we'll just say seven days and then we'll approve that. And we've got a, a message pop up here. It says TSL black only five items available to sell. So it hasn't been able to approve that invoice. That is a problem for us because we have made the sale or we're attempting to make the sale. We know that there is 10 items in the back, but the system is not letting us process it because the system is saying for whatever reason, which is not important to this example, is that there is only five on hand. So what we need to do is make an inventory adjustment. So to do that, we're still in the products and services section here under the item and we're going to go new adjustment. We want to increase the quantity and we want to increase it to bring it up to the correct amount which we know there is 10 on hand, not five. So we are going to increase the quantity by five to make the new quantity on hand 10. Now this item here, you have to put to an adjustment account for this, you might use the cost of goods sold account, or maybe you want to, maybe you're not really sure why the stock is out and maybe someone made an error with their bookkeeping in the past. But for now, you just want to get the sale done and perhaps have your accountant come back and look at it later. If you just want to, if you're not really sure why you're making the adjustment or why the stock was out in the first place and you want to be able to easily track that later on so your accountant can have a good look at it and then make the appropriate adjustments. You might want to set up a different account. So what I did for this example is I set up an expense account 
for inventory adjustments called just that. There it is, inventory adjustments. So this way it's not going to be lumped in with the cost of goods sold. It's gonna show as a separate line item on the profit and loss, which we will know or our accountant will know we have to come back and review this later before we wrap up the reporting for the applicable period. So we're putting it to this inventory adjustments account in this case, but as I said, you could use cost of goods sold as well. The main thing is just to make sure that your accountant knows what's going on. And here I'm going to put in a reference. I'm just going to say uh, to bring stock on hand to correct amount. 10 items. So we'll click next. And what it's doing here, this is the journal. It's going to debit the inventory account, which is an asset account. So it's going to bring it from five up to 10, except it's going to be in dollar terms, which will at $20 each, it's going to be bringing the inventory account on the balance sheet up by $100 to be $200 for this item. The other side of the journal is the credit and it's going to go to this inventory adjustments account that I used. So we'll go post adjustment. And now we can see the quantity on hand was increased by five and the new quantity on hand is 10. So let's try and process this invoice again and it should work. We'll go approve. There we go, invoice approved. Now if we go back to here the inventory item do a refresh, the quantity on hand should go down to zero because those 10 items have just been sold. There it is. And to show you what I mean with the profit and loss, I'm gonna do a duplicate here. We just did uh, five increased items at $20 each, so there was a $100 adjustment, which should show on the profit and loss in that inventory adjustment account. Scroll down, there it is. It's 150 because there's some other adjustments in there, but I'll show you the item that we just did for $100. There it is, this is the item we just did. To bring stock on hand to correct amount, 10 items, $100. And correspondingly on the balance sheet, that inventory account would have gone up by $100. And then come back down again once we made the sale. So the main thing here guys is we were able to process the sale so that we could service our customer and make some money. And now we have this inventory adjustments on the cost of sale. So what I'm going to do now is next time I have to report to the tax office or next time I speak to my accountant, I will just tell them to take a look at this account here and just tell them what happened and they will be able to come in and make any adjustments as part of a sort of stock take end of period process. So there you have it guys, that is how you can make an adjustment to inventory to push through a sale that you know you have stock on hand for if the system is telling you that you have a different stock on hand amount. If you wanna book in a training session, you can head over to qtraining.net.au. We provide one-on-one -on -one online Zoom sessions to go through any issues you may have with Xero, MYOB, Excel, or any other accounting software. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you later.